All right, so I've been doing a lot of testing on this K2 and kind of doing this is my uh, standard tower um, that I print to test all my settings on. And when I printed it, you can see as I was changing settings, the different um, you know print quality. So I kept getting this ringing. Um, almost looks like VFA, but it's actually not. That's not VFA. Come to find out. <clears throat> So every print that I did has it in it and as I was changing settings and trying to figure it out, changing speed, changing uh, pressure advance, um, changing smoothing times, um, velocities, um, jerk set, you know, the square corner velocity, um, excel and decel, I was changing everything and I just could not nail down what this problem was. So I printed this one and you can see you can still see the ripples right here in the light. Um, then I noticed if this was you know input shaping a problem with that or if it was a problem with um, you know pressure advance or anything it's just it would be all over it which it's not it's it's nowhere I mean, there's a little bit of a pattern there but other than that it's really not anywhere it's maybe a little here but I think this is uh, input shaping I'm still working through that but this definitely ringing and if you look close you can see the tops are not it's a uh, kind of wavy vertically instead of and it's also just a it's not really wavy um, you know in and out on the X and Y axis. It's only wavy on the Z axis so I was like well, that's weird. Well, let's do let's try to change because this is the seam here This is a single wall and I didn't do a spiral because I wanted to test retractions and stuff like that um, Not really retractions. I just want to test everything and I was kept getting this on the and I was like well this is a seam you know this is where it starts and stops so I changed the seam setting to be over here and when you know it the problem followed it and now this side same position here it cleaned up so I was like well okay so it's something to do with um, the extruder it's like alright so I started thinking about it and the only thing that changes in this in the seam position is the extruder. All the other settings are the same. So it's like, well, it's got to be in the extruder. So I started messing with um, extruder, maximum, Excel, and uh, velocities and all that stuff. And that's where a couple of these came through and nothing changed it. So what I did was... Um, kind of just really sat down and really started thinking about it so I end up changing well here's here's my thought process my thought process was okay it's it's smooth all the way to the corner and then it becomes pressure advance then it gets here and you know I was just I was just really kind of thinking about it then I used a, a loop and I'll, I'll insert some pictures here in a second but you can see I might be able to do this on video. So if you go to the loop and you look at the corner, you can see it's like over extruding. And that's then it brought me back to pressure advance. I was like, well, it looks like it looks like pressure advance. And you check all the other corners, they look relatively fine. You know, there might be a little rounding, but that's probably with the input shaping and smoothing. So I was like, that's weird. Um so I started messing with the material settings and on the material material settings by default retract on layer change is off uh, retract or uh, wipe while retracting is off and you know all this stuff so this stuff was off and this was at the travel distance threshold was at two millimeters so I changed it to basically double your line width when it moves from um, like infill or your Z or uh, infill or your top or bottom it moves over one line it, it shouldn't retract when it moves so I might increase this just a little bit 
So then I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe it's the uh, detraction speed, which is how fast it feeds the filament back in after retraction. So well, I got back to this, sitting here thinking, and the only thing I could come up with was that the pressure inside the nozzle was changing on starts because it's not changing on the ends and it it was has it had to been changing on the starts so i was thinking about it i'm like well if it's over extruded here and it's not pressure advanced the time it spends at that corner is letting a little bit of material extrude then as it takes back off heading this way it's the extruders putting filament in there, you know, it's forcing filament in and the pressure is changing inside the um, nozzle and it's giving you these wavy lines. So I was like, well, the only way I can think to fix that is the detraction setting and I changed that. It didn't help. Then I activated retract on layer change and wipe before retracting and then I got this result. It it cleaned everything up so th what there might be one mark you know one line there and I could probably tune that one out of there with uh, the retraction speed and detraction speed but there's the there's a the difference on if you so if you're getting um, these weird wavy lines on your seams on this on your Z seam um, this is probably what's going on it's not retracting um on your layer change and uh it's over extruding on the corner you just get you just have nozm uh ooze coming out and you can kind of see here at the at the corners here it looks like it's you know over travel and on this one you don't have that so there's your tip for the uh K2s um make sure that you have retract on layer change enabled because um, you will encounter this. This is just a material ooze at the corner and this is the pressure building up inside the nozzle uh, to get a consistent pressure, then it fixes itself. So um, yeah, just a little heads up, a little tip. Um, make sure your retract on layer change, wipe while retracting, you know, this is my PLA settings here, so uh, make sure all that stuff is set, and uh, I think you should be good to go. It's uh, it, it was a few hours of here just tweaking settings um, in the slicer and on the printer, you know, through Clipper and all that stuff. So um, next thing I need to kind of look into is my Z offset. I think it's a little too close. I'm probably gonna change it by 0.1 millimeter. You can. You can see, uh, well, it's going to be tough to see, but i got to turn the flash on here. Yeah, if you see down here, down there at the bottom, how it's wavy, that's the filament pushing into the bed, and it really needs to come up just a little bit, maybe like 0 0.1, 0 0.1 millimeter or so. But yeah, that's under that's under harsh lighting there. Don't worry about this. There's no, there's no top layers there at the bottom, you know, right there where you see the strings. You know, this is about the harshest lighting you can have from a uh, camera, you know, a cell phone camera. So, yeah, there's there's one little line there, and I think I can tune that out with the detraction setting. I bet I can increase that a little bit, and I bet I can get that line closer to the seam. But, that is your tip for your K2. Um, other than that... Uh, we'll do some more testing and really, really dial this printer in.